Are you a sari sari store owner who worries about not having enough money to sustain your business? Or are you thinking of starting a sari sari store because you believe that it's easier to open one? Do you believe that a popular business like a sari sari store is a good investment? If so, you are in the right place because in this video entitled The Number One Reason Why Sari Sari Stores Fail and 5 Tips for Your Business to Succeed, you'll learn how to make your Sari Sari Store business more manageable so you'll increase your chances of succeeding as a business owner. Let's talk about my mentee named Lani. Lani owns a Sari Sari Store that has been operating for 6 years and Lani was the first to open that Sari Sari Store in their subdivision. But as time went by, other residents followed suit and opened their stores as well. Lani soon found that she was starting to lose some of her customers to these competitors. Even if she had lowered her prices to keep her customers, she finds that it's still hard to sell enough to break even. Now, if this problem persists, according to Lani, I might have to give up my store even if I don't want to. That's what Lani told me. Lani shared with me that her Sari Sari store has helped her and her family over the past six years. Now, if you were in Lani's shoes, would you give up without a fight? I hope not. So before we continue, have you noticed that when a Sari Sari store opens in your neighborhood, after a few months, three to four of the neighbors will open their stores as well? You see, when someone owns a good business, they think that that business is also good for them. And that's not how it works. First, let's talk about the number one reason why Sari Sari stores fail. Can you guess what it is? Well, it's because they sell on credit. Do you sell on credit? Is it because you're forced to do it? Well, this brings us to tip number one for a Sari Sari store to succeed. Say no to credit. Yes, credit is good, but for a business to keep going, you need cash. Don't make this fatal mistake, especially to friends and relatives. It will be hard to collect. Aside from uncollected debts and a dead business, many business owners end up with lots of heartaches and enemies from the people who did not pay on time if they paid at all. We don't want that to happen to you, right? Always remember that cash is king. Now, let's go to tip number two. Don't treat your Sari Sari store like your pantry. When you have an item you need for cooking or personal use, it's very tempting to just get it from your Sari Sari store. After all, it's more convenient and you own the store, right? But treating your store like a pantry is a no-no. You should pay for whatever you get. And having said that, it's important to monitor your inventory. This way, you'll identify what are your fast-moving items and what are not. This will also help you to find out if there are missing items. These are just a few reasons why monitoring is important. Now, let's have tip number three. Avoid the I deserve this mentality. Just because the store is earning, it doesn't mean you can use the money for personal rewards or purchases. Let's elaborate on this some more with the next one. Tip number four, treat the business as your boss. Even if you own your business, you should look at it as your employer. Pay yourself by getting a fixed portion of your business income for your salary. This way, the money that the business makes is recorded well in your financial statements. And with accurate and timely recording, you'll be able to make better decisions on what and how much to buy and what not to buy anymore. And with the right information and decision, you can grow your business more quickly. And now for tip number five, provide amazing customer service. Now, this is a no-brainer. We encounter different kinds of people. Even if sometimes they can get on our nerves, we should maintain a positive attitude and be ready to respond quickly. If we don't have the item they're looking for, let's offer them something that they might want as an alternative and always serve them with a smile to help brighten up their day because you do not know what they have gone through before coming to your store, right? Make them feel welcome in your store. And this will make them prefer to buy from you than from that cranky owner of the store across the street, even if his price is cheaper. And that's your five tips. Follow these and your business will succeed. Now, the last tip can help you stand above the rest of your competitors. Excellent customer service can be your unique selling proposition or USP so that you don't have to worry about competitors who resort to the low price strategies because that's the only way they think they can win more customers. Now, after Lani and I talked, she decided that her next step was to come up with her USP. What can her store be known for so that she can stand out among all the other competitors? What could she offer that are based on her core strengths that would be hard for other Sari Sari stores to copy? 
The answer can be found in her own business calling. And after our coaching session, she was glad she discovered what it was. Now, if you're still considering starting a Sari Sari store because it's a popular business, know that popularity doesn't always guarantee success. Only start a business because you have something unique that only you can serve your customers better with that won't be easy for others to copy. This is Mami Hen, your Mami Negosyo, saying, be business-minded, Pinoy! 